Hey guys, this is um, David is J, and um, today I'm going to be reviewing Transformers: Hunt for the Decepticon, Battle Blade, Bumblebee. Um, as you can see, um, he is an awesome toy. I mean, a figure, and he's a nice Camaro, yellow Camaro. And they still call it a concept, which I still don't know why they still call it that. But who cares? But yeah, that's Bumblebee's face. Um, yeah. Anyways, about the Camaro. He has nice detail. Black, um, black stripes on the back. Blue, transparent. So you could see, like, a lot of, you could open the door. But it's not like the human alliance. Like, you have a seat so Sam could sit in. But, yeah, who cares? And, and the wheels are really nice. They were really nice, actually. Really, really nice. And, um, he's pretty cool, actually. I actually like him. Now, for quick size comparison, in alt mode, he, 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 here he is with Sentinel Prime. I do have the Dark of the Moon Deluxe Bumblebee, but I, I don't like him in robot mode. I actually like him in his vehicle mode, but who cares? Yeah, there's Sentinel Prime. And this is not really red. I didn't paint it. It just the camera's just picking it dark red. It's really kind of pinkish, right? But who cares? But yeah, that's the size comparison of Bumblebee with Sentinel Prime. Sentinel Prime is a fire truck, so he's kind of he's really big. For another quick size comparison, his alt mode is Human Alliance Roadbuster. Very very nice. Looks okay, I guess. Who cares? Like I said. Yeah. That's anyway. And, um, let's transform him. Well, first, he's a nice Camaro. And he comes in package in his robot mode. So, start the transformation. Open the doors. Separate the leg. Open the wheels. Open this. Open this. Slide his hand and out and whoa oh okay I thought I broke okay it, it just pops out but it didn't break he could put it back yeah you fold out his hand pull this out pull this hand out like so rotate sorry rotate this fold out get, um, take out his hand and there you have his hand now you wanna take out this part of this lift this it's like the human lines lift this and leave it like that and you just want to open this section and it'll just transform his leg like so fold out his heels spurred okay okay there you go and there you have his leg transformed and ready to go oh. And there you have his trans his legs transformed. Take out the stomach piece. Hold his f and his head will pop up. Be it to be very gentle. Just hold it like that. And, and make sure this Autobot thing. This is kind of annoying. You leave it like forward. And then you push this. If I can get it to. There you go. See. Without his head falling. And then there's a little tab. I don't know if you could see, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little tab right there, this square thing, and this thing, this T, is going to go in here, like so. And then, make sure the windows are like that, and then lift this uh, bumper piece of the Camaro, and we'll transform into his chest. Um, um, yeah, his chest. And then... Put his head down. And there you have Battle Blade Bumblebee in his robot mode. A very nice looking robot mode. I actually do like it. He actually is better than the Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. But in the alt mode, Dark of the Moon Bumblebee is better. But he's bigger. So yeah, look at that. It's very, very nice. Very nice. I do like it. I'm glad I have him. <coughs> he was... This came out last year, so I just had to get it. It was awesome. 
Um, for a quick size comparison, here he is with Tart Tart Exclusive Ratchet. Voyager Ratchet. And as you can see, I think this is a good scale. Very nice. Very, very nice. For another quick size comparison, here he is with Dark the Moon Iron Leader Class Ironhide. And Ironhide is really big, actually. Really, really big. Yeah, he's big. And another one. Optimus Prime. Just stand them. There you have Optimus with Bumblebee. You saw Ironhide right there. And there you have him with it. I think that's a good scale, but I I rather have the Human Lions Bumblebee from Revenge of the Fallen. They also do have a Revenge of uh, a, a, a Human Lions Bumblebee from Hunt for the Decepticons, the same as Revenge of the Fallen. <clears throat> but yeah, his uh, feature is a battle mask. Which looks very, very cool and nice. Wow, we're already in six minutes. And if you press this button, he has an axe. A blue axe. Transclearing axe. You fold it. And I actually have a problem with the axe. It's upside down. This was done down and this was up. They had it reverse. Like, so it's upside down. And I've seen Optibonimus review last year. And he says... Like if you try to if you try to take this thing apart, you can't you know you can't just you know switch it. It's it's actually it's kind of molded weird, which I don't like. But that's just a little nitpick. Another cool feature I do really like is this. If you open your if you have fingernails, fold this hand in, and then you have a cannon, which is very very nice I c you can get him in a lot of cool poses with him really nice this is how I like to pose my bumblebee uh, you have bumblebee okay 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 whoa okay and there you have bumblebee holding his cannon that's really cool. I actually like that. That's awesome. Really nice. I do like that. For articulation, um, his arm can go all the way around, rotate at the arms, bends at the elbow. Uh, no, no finger articulation, but just a thumb. Let me just put this back. And I'll just transform in his hand. And I actually do like that, that he can keep his hand in a cannon arm. Like, because the human lines just have it. But if you do a mode, then yeah. And yeah, leg bends out in, back and forward. Very nice. Okay, so that's Battle Blade Bumblebee. He does have light piping, which you could kind of see. But yeah, anyways. So, Transformers, Hunt for the Decepticons, Battle Blade Bumblebee. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this video. Later, guys. Oh, and please go to my channel. Later.